Hello, this is a video on how to change or upgrade the hard disk in an HP 250G2 laptop, otherwise known as model number F0Y94EA, and then a hash sign or a pound sign, ABU. Also, I apologise about the sound quality in this video. I was in a noisy server room, so uh, there's a lot of background hiss. I've tried to make it as good as I can, but uh, there's only so much you can do. So, I'm just going to start with the obvious stuff. Uh, I'm not sure whether you need to take the battery out. Probably don't, but I'll take it out just so there's less stuff in the way. Which will also take this cover off as well. Uh, which does reveal at least two screws that we're going to have to undo. Uh, we'll also take out the CD drive, which is this screw here. So undo that screw, slide the CD drive out. Right, undo all the screws that you can see um, on mine, that screw's missing, that screw's missing, that screw's missing, that one's missing, so there's some which I won't be undoing because they don't exist. That one's missing, so I won't do that. Uh, that one's also missing, so I won't be doing that one. That one is missing, so I won't be doing that one. So we're now down into all of the ones which aren't under this cover are undone. So it's now the ones under the cover. of which there are three. And that looks like it. So normally I'd like to have a thin spudger type thing, but right now I actually don't have access to anything like that. I don't think. Let me have a quick look. I found a uh, bit of plastic that is going to be suitable. Having said that, it doesn't seem to be any easier really. Oh, there we go, there it is little bit so going in and pushing the bottom part of the casing out to unclip. Let's see if I can do it this way. Maybe you can see better. which must be, I'm going to go for the keyboard and touchpad, which will be, that one's the keyboard, so that one's got a little lever, lever that up, that will lift out, and then the similar thing for the touchpad, little lever, lever it upwards, 
and do the touchpad. So there's one more lead, which is this one here, next to the keyboard. It's probably maybe for keyboard backlight. I'll have a look in a minute, or for the power button actually. So we've got keyboard, power buttons, and touchpad, all unplugged. And then gently lift the entire top section out of the laptop. And yeah, that's definitely, that one there is the power button and LED. Right, so the hard disk is obviously here. There's a ribbon cable running over it, so similar to all the other connections. Just flip that upwards and then remove that. There are three screws holding in the hard disk. These ones are a different size to the ones which go around the case, so make sure you keep those screws separate. So with that undone, now lift the hard disk out and then the hard disk is, has its own little connector which we need to disconnect. There we go. Now the machine, because it doesn't have the weight of the hard disk, has become top heavy and is trying to fall over, so let's try and do that. So, in this case it's a Western Digital hard disk and it's not the laptop thin type hard disk, it's the, uh, I think, the 9mm drive and it's held into its bracket by four screws, so uh, undo those. Once again, these are different size screws, so make sure that they're separate. Get your new drive or your upgraded drive, replacement drive, and take out the old drive from the bracket, put the new drive into the bracket and screw it in. This is where having a magnetic screwdriver is incredibly helpful. Okay, so now I need to put the serial ATA connector back onto the drive. Make sure that's securely pressed in. Drop the drive back down into it where it sits. Before you forget, because it's very easy to do so, this ribbon cable, plug it back in. And push that little hinge down. Right, and three screws which hold half the skin.
and the top case. On mine there's quite a bit of dust where uh, the fan is, so I'm actually going to get some compressed air and clean that. Okay, so back to the case going on the top. So I'm going to actually do this on its side so I can check that all of the ribbon cables I need have come through. So there's one. There we go. The keyboard one. There we go. And the touchpad one. There we go. They're all now through. I'm going to clip this down. So now the case is all clipped down. Check around all of that, it seems okay. Let's plug in these ribbon cables. So, that one into the motherboard, hinge that down, keyboard into the motherboard, hinge down. Touchpad. Into the motherboard, hinge down, there we go. So, let's do all of these screws. I'm going to start with the ones which are underneath the, uh, this cover here. All the ones along the front edge. Right, because I'm missing so many screws on this machine and uh, I don't have any spare ones immediately to hand, I'm going to pick the most useful places for the remaining three to be, which I think would be the two nearest the screen and then the one second nearest where the screen is likely to be held in, just because that's one of the weak points on a lot of laptops is the uh, where the bracket for the screen is. Then the CD drive goes slides back in, and where there's a little CD symbol printed with an arrow pointing to it, that's where the screw goes. Put the cover on, and screw the cover back in. slide the battery back in and make sure that that one is in the locked position. And there we go, that's how you upgrade or replace the hard disk in the HP 250, uh, the specific model or generation of which I should have said at the beginning of the video, once I've looked it up. 
Um, if this video has been helpful to you, it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel. You don't need to have the notification bell switched on, but the subscriber numbers really do help. Thank you very much.